Just a quick one, guys, before we get into today's video, we do have a lot of Rangers t-shirts available on our website. Do browse the collection by going to either rfcclothing.com or going down into the link in the description. Let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. So the transfer window is three days away now guys and Rangers have already secured three signings already before the transfer window has even opened, those of course Dujon Sterling, Kieran Dowell and Jan Butland all on pre-contract agreements. However, that is just the start of things guys, things are really really heating up for Rangers now and and we're not even in the window yet. Yes, Rangers are in discussions with four players over big money moves this summer. Four players. And as I said, they are backed to complete all of them. Now, a few of these names you've heard a lot on the over, over the time on the channel, guys. We've went through them in extensive detail in previous videos, but I'm basically here to provide you updates with regards to all of them. Yes. So the first one, of course, being Jose Sinfuentes. Jose Sinfuentes plays for LAFC, and it seemed as though that the player and Rangers had agreed personal terms. The player wants to go there. If you've seen his social media action or social media activity, it was basically stating that, look, he was liking all Rangers fans' tweets about him coming to to the football club and all the rest of it and basically stating that uh, LAFC should let him go. As I said, he's been very active on social media, liking all these tweets and all the rest of it. He wants to move to Rangers. There is zero doubt about that. Um, basically, the last of what I told you about Jose Sinfuentes is that LAFC weren't prepared to sell and sell until their CONCACAF Champions League or Champions uh, Cup uh, clash of which they lost and have already played. Now, a lot was already emerging now that they would then do business with Rangers over it. However, there's still significant work there. The latest we have from Sky Sports is there's still significant work to be done for Rangers to land Jose Sinfuentes. I said the players' personal terms and all the rest of it's okay, but they still need to agree a fee with Sinfuentes. Look, at the end of the day, he is a player there. He's contracted to the club until December. And look, they may just sit, look at it in a way of, well, you know, we can get a fee for him now or we just let him leave for free. We'd rather have him uh, to, to compete until the end of our season and take it from there. So Rangers, as I said, still need to do significant work with LAFC. Uh, it's being told that, um, it is being said that they are prepared to sell, but as I say, Rangers need to meet the fee. But Rangers may hold out until January and just try and land him. But it does look like they're going to do it this summer. But as I said, there is still significant work to be done. Now, the other one, of course, is Lammers. Like the Lammers one is a situation that has emerged over the last couple of days more intensely. And that's basically stating that Rangers are in talks now with Atalanta over a deal for the player. Now, Lammers, you'll probably know, he has a Europa League medal at Rangers' expense. He was a part of the Frankfurt team that, of course, beat Rangers in the Europa League final last year. And as I said, it's being stated that Rangers are in discussions with the Italian club over a deal for him this summer. So very, very interesting stuff with that regard. But as I say, the latest on that one is Rangers are in negotiations, but are expected to complete the deal again this summer. And he should be another one coming through the door at Ibrox. He's an attacking player. He's a striker. He's a player in there. Just don't look at his stats. Uh, it won't really excite you uh, that much, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. The other one, of course, guys, is a Cremonese striker, Serial Dessers. Serial Dessers, that's been well documented on the channel over the last couple of days, basically stating that he is nearly, um, the terms have nearly been agreed for him to move to Rangers. It said that Rangers agreed a fee last week, um, but that one's still not over the line just yet. And as I said, it does look like um, Rangers are still in those negotiations. Rangers have made official bids uh, for Dessers. Um, and as I said, they're just trying to get the best deal for them because obviously they don't want to be paying the 6 million, 7 million fee that Cremonese wanted. And Cremonese ain't going to be getting that. They paid that for him last summer, but they've been relegated. And a part of being relegated is sometimes you have to sell your best talents on the on the cheap. And um, it looks like Rangers are going to try and get a deal done for around three 
0.3 million pounds with 900,000 pounds in um, performance related add-ons. But that one, again, does look like it will be done. And he's probably another player, there's another striker that you should probably not look at his stats because they're not that exciting. However, as I said, Michael Beal has all my trust. And if this is a player that he wants, he's got a good record with me at the moment with the two signings he made in January. And uh, yeah, I, I believe him until he sort of drops a bollock, then we'll, we'll, we can have that conversation then. But I'm getting excited with the transfer window. Now, the latest one, number four. Yes, number four. Rangers are in negotiations now with Nottingham Forest over a £2.5 million move for Jonathan Panzo. Uh, he's a 22-year-old defender. And again, this is a very, very exciting one. Bill has connections with him, of course. He coached him as a youngster whilst at Chelsea. And as I said, watched him in uh, action uh, numerous of times last season. But as I say, um, a lot of reports this morning is stating that Rangers are closing in on a £2.5 million deal to bring Panzo to Ibrox so he would be the next player to join the football club. As I said, there's other players being linked with the club as well, but as I said, these four Rangers have entered negotiations for uh, Jonathan Panzo, uh, Lam Sam Lammers, Serio Aldeses, and then of course, Jose Sinfuentes. So four deals Rangers are currently negotiating on to try and do before the transfer window opens. And they're progressing fairly well. I think the club are very confident that they're gonna be bringing these players in this summer. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes. By the transfer window open or over the next two weeks, we could already see seven players in through the door, but it doesn't look like it's going to stop there. It looks like it's going to carry on going. Uh, basically, Sky Sports have also reported, along with these four deals that Rangers are trying to do, is that the club are looking to listen to offers for Scott Wright and Glenn Kamara this summer both of which I would not be see, sad to see go. Scott Wright, if Rangers can recoup some of the, the money, I think it was a straight swap with, with Ross McCrory, um, but if Rangers can get anywhere near to the two million fee that they got for, for Ross McCrory, then that would be good business, but I can't see him going for that much. Um, and then Glenn Kamara, it's just whatever, try and get five mil. I mean, he was there was a bid 10 million pounds last summer, uh, Rangers didn't take it on deadline day. Is he going to get a Rangers going to get ten million quid for him this year? Probably not. Um, I think if we get five million quid for him, it would be it would be good business. I, I, I don't know. I think his head's gone a bit as well. Um, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's what all I've got for you really this morning or today. Sorry, should I say, is that Rangers are in negotiations with four players, official negotiations: Jose Sinfuentes, Sam Lammers, Cyril Dessas, and the latest one being Jonathan Panzo. That's being reported this morning that Rangers have opened uh, discussions for a two point five million pound move this summer. And then, of course, Glenn Kamara, Scott Wright could be gone. Uh, Rangers fans, though, over to you. What do you make of these four potential signings joining the football club this summer? And how many more positions? do you need to see would you like to see Rangers strengthen this summer how many more players do you think the club need and which positions do they need to bolster as I said do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below that brings us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content remember we have new t-shirts available on our website so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com thank you and I'll see you all next time take care peace